What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new satisfactory community spotlight video. I guess we can call it that, but without further ado, we are in a hassle. Let's jump straight into the first game. And remember, we are in update eight now, and all of these saves was given to me in Discord pre-update eight. So these was not designed with Lumin in mind, but let's see if anybody has been working with lights pre-update eight. I think I've said that a few times now, right? So first up, we've got Magica78 with an 884 hour save with a 9.8 megabyte file size. So without further ado, let's go out here. Oh, and it's already bloody. What is going on? What is this? This is bloody crazy. Copper, 40 sheets, wire. Is this all inside a big crazy building? I can't tell. <laughs> this might be a little hard to see, especially with living on. But I think it's a spaghetti factory, I think. To be honest though, he has got walkways and foundations going up here, Man manufacturers. We can kind of see a little bit what's going on in there now. But if we get close, it gets a little bit more spoopy, right? So we can see now, oh, oh it glows, <laughs> it glows. But yeah, so this is Magicka's, uh, how will 884 hours spent on this? If you want your save to be featured as well, make sure you post them in Discord. I have totally done this random because there were so so many of you that joined Discord last time after the first video and submit to your save. There's no way I can work through that list. So I'm kind of picking and choosing at random. On average, about five. So let's continue looking at this. I, it's definitely a organized spaghetti factory, right? Organized spaghetti factory. We're just going to fly around here with the new AGS or advanced game setting feature that's been added up there. Eight. To, to be honest, it's not bad. It's not bad. It, they're definitely creating a building around what they're building, right? The machines are all laid out pretty decently. Like, they've got manifolds going down. This is definitely a project that's being worked on at the minute because there's some things that are unfinished here and pipes aren't connected. Saying that, there is a S-Ben pipes. If it's your thing, it's your thing. And then we come along here and we can see the spaghetti railway section. But this guy... Oh, no. I saw something. This... <laughs> not just that it goes through the track and then it goes through the rock <laughs> my dude this doorway has got like eyelids you know like it's gonna blink at me <laughs> but yeah obviously i don't know if this is their first factory but i can see lines and belts coming from god knows where well obviously i know they're coming from nodes but are they coming from like the south side of the map are they or, or what but Majika, let me know in the comments and i can already see something in the far distance and what is going on over here we can see multiple do you know do you know what's driving me crazy here is that everything looks on the verge of being completed like on the verge of being completed but then it's like at the last minute they've just gone i'm moving on to the next project that's what it looks like like the foundations are like the foundations could be trimmed off put some walls up if they wanted to obviously this is my own opinion before cr people go crazy going, oh, people can play however they want. Yes, they can. But this is my opinion. <laughs> this is my opinion. That's all. So uh, we're doing this for the funds. And hopefully if the person who saved this is, is after some uh, inspiration or anything like that, or people who are new to the game might find this inspirational and a step up from their save. Like, they're definitely having fun because you can tell by this belt right here. They brung this belt up, but then they took it that way. Left, right, left, right, left, right. For the memes. But then if we go over here, which I'm not going to lie, I'm going to call it a sunbed. Because it looks like a sunbed. And Bean's enjoying himself right now. He's trying to get them rays. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. I think he heard me. I think he heard me. But Majika, thank you for showing me your save. Keep up the good work. Enjoy having fun with however you play it. Uh, and to submit your save in the future. And maybe we can see this blossom into a rose plant. I think that's a saying, right? <laughs> but remember, if you enjoyed these videos, remember to subscribe, like, and even leave a comment. Even if it's just a bloody emoji. Right, next up. This is the big boy save. But first, I want to talk to you about today's sponsor, which is... Flexi spot. 
and FlexiSpot are a kinetic furniture company that deal with ergonomic chairs, standing desks, uh, motorized beds, anything that could help you in your work life or day-to-day -day activities where you're going to be spending quite a bit of time at your desk, if you're for gaming or for work, etc, etc. But what I want to talk to you about is the BS11 Pro, which is the chair they very kindly sent me over. Uh, and as a big guy myself, it's very hard to come across a chair that can give you some uh, decent lumbar support, great posture, uh, and just be comfortable for excessive amounts of use. For example, like the mesh on the seat, the backrest and the head is, it's very trampoline-y. It, it makes you feel like you're floating uh, and not sitting on a solid ground. And it's, to be honest, it's pretty comfy. I'm not gonna lie to you. But like most ergonomic chairs or chairs in general now, uh, have for the armrest. And what they do is they allow the top to slide forward and back. They allow it to go up and down, and then also at the top to pivot at different degrees. So they have a great offer on right now, which if you want to go into the link in the description, you can get up to 32% off until the end of June 2023. Okay, so back to uh, the video. So basically, I've been here now for about 10 minutes trying to load this save. Um, it's like, they've got like just over 1,700 hours in and it's like 28 megabytes. I don't know if it's just because it's experimental right now that it's not loading, but it keeps coming up corrupted and is crashing satisfactory. So unfortunately, we're going to have to move on. I don't know what this is to the next save. <laughs> so the next save we are now going to look at is Just or Dandy, who's got 311 hours on this save with a three megabyte save. If you ever wonder why I say the size of the save, because there's a lot of, um, you can you know by the size of the save, how long it will take to load, how big the save is in general, uh, and anything below 10 megabytes is, is, is fine. Anything above 10 megabytes, they've been playing for at least 500 hours plus, um, and there'll be a lot more to kind of show. Does that make sense? So anyway, just or dandy, what have you got for me? I see a flossy box. To be honest, this is nice and clean so far. It looks like they've started a building production. But anyway, let's go into advanced game settings, gameplay, turn flight mode on. This is only available in update eight, by the way. Apply, confirm, bada bing, bada bosh. And now we can just fly around and oh boy, have they got manifolds. They're definitely doing manifolds. They've got a train station over here. A lot of manifold. I don't know what they're making. This is all iron ingots. So I'm guessing this is a brand new save for them. They are on trains. Uh, what tiers have they got unlocked? Uh, we've got blenders. So they're on tier seven and eight. So they're at end game. They're at the end game. They might have unlocked uh, the end game. For saying the three megabyte. Well, saying that, 311 hours. You can get to end game in 311 hours. That's not a problem. But what I think, I think this could be the the mega factory start and it wouldn't surprise me if we see a starter factory somewhere i love this by the way this is something i do a lot uh, i put the pillars on the outside and then i usually put the, the the belts or the pipes anything in the middle but i like what they've done here they're actually using uh walkways right there so they've used a the walkway and then put a belt over it clipped it through so you can even use this as a walk walkable way for the pioneer to walk or you can even send products on it going along the train as well cool idea so like i said i'm guessing this is just all for basic production we're seeing uh assemblers which i'm gonna guess is for well we can see the frames on it this is gonna be for your plates there's concrete here and everything a couple of manufacturers over in the distance but i don't know what's going on here this is all clean and tidy but then this goes on like what the um what are you doing just that this was going well this was going well and now i've seen this like what are you doing, man? See, this is all fine. And then you go and do stuff like that. Let me just pick up my balls again. Then you go and do stuff like that. Like, <laughs> everything was going all right. Damn it. So looking at the map here, they don't have any other markers down anymore in the cases except up here. So maybe just their factory is up there then. Maybe it's just this. And they're starting something over there above the crater. Where's your power? Is it the coal down here? Ah, it's here in the Spire Coast. Of course. So over here we have some batteries get a bit of storing power and then over here we can see the good old fuel generators see everything looks clean here until i get underneath the hood and i find out all what's going on underneath so the powers the pipes are all clean the canisters are clean 
So I, I can already tell here they're doing diluted package fuel. They are bringing water bottles in to M. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's going to these refineries, which is making the diluted. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So yeah, it is diluted package fuel. Uh, and then they're using a closed loop to send all the empty canisters back to fill with water. So water to go to the refinery to get mixed with uh, heavy residue oil to make fuel and then unpackage. Yeah. So, okay, cool. So that's a decent amount of power. How much power are they making? Grab you. They are making 39,300 with a current max uh, max consumption of 9,657. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking just a dandy is either quickly rushed to the end game or has built an established factory and deleted everything to restart fresh for update eight, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, just a dandy. Awesome save, my dude. Let me know uh, some more info either in Discord or in the comments below. And let's move on to the next one. All right, so the next save we're going to look at is from a moderator of mine, um, which is Karami. And I have seen a little bit of this in the past. I think it was like last year, beginning of last year. Um, I know he's a fantastic builder. I know he does a lot of stuff with lights and there's a lot of cool stuff that you can do in vanilla to make things look aesthetically pleasing and i want to kind of show you it but i've not seen it in a little bit so let's see what he's done so this save is 2872 hours long with 10 megabytes as the save file size let's jump in and see what they've done and how it looks Lumin already looks great, doesn't it? You guys will in, will be impressed with this save. I can already tell you now. Like, we've already got light showing off a couple of little plaques and everything. And I've not seen this save in a little bit. To storage. This way. Storage this way. Okay. I want a bit of a run. A bit of a trek. And then we're going in here. To the space elevator. To the storage hub. Let's go. <laughs> oh, damn. Now, this is a hypertube. Have you designed your hypertube yet? And then put this many signs in here? That's the thing. I've seen this tube before, but not with Lumin. Because, oh, God. When we, uh, when I saw this, like, beginning of last year, uh, the signs wasn't effective. It was dark in here. Uh, and all you can see was just the white signs on the wall. No, nothing being emitted on them or anything. No. Oh. Bridges. And then we can see the building up ahead. Prepare your socks. Because it's about to get <laughs> a little bit carnival. And we're here. Yep. Yeah, there's a Ferris wheel. And uh, dog pens. Adopt a dog or today. Daddy and son gaming. Happy foreigner. A lot of names I recognize. Oh, even there's me. <laughs> There's me. So this is all uh, people, obviously, from the Satisfactory community that they've uh, they've made into doggos. So th is there anybody you recognize? Wait, is this everyone actually from, like, my community? <laughs> but anyway, let's not get carried away. Look around. Obviously, last time I was here, Blueprints uh, was not here. So he's probably done a lot with Blueprints. And we got to train it. Let's go into advanced game settings here. And let's have a little bit of a fly around. Make things a little easier and quicker. Otherwise, we'll be here all up. Will we here? Here all bloody day. And we can already see the lights in effect with the arched roof, by the way. Don't know if you noticed that, but you're going to see a lot of this kind of stuff with curves uh, and using these to create these styles of roofs. Um, and it's a pretty clever way on how to do it. You're just going to use pillars, uh, beams, and beam connectors and all that kind of stuff. So uh, if you've got the patience, try to figure out how to do it with them and then uh, let me know. But all the lighting in here right now is on bloody points. Going with a turquoise color as well. That train's not moving. Even though the light's green. I'm guessing it's stuck. So we can see where the stations are going here. Platform 1 East is heavy modular frames at 60 per minute. Modular frames at 60 per minute. Uh, and then so on and so forth. We can see everything where each train platform is going to. So it's organized uh, and all that kind of good stuff. And I think this is just a... Uh, the same? No. There's multiple different stations. So the stations on that side is for that one. This one is for these ones. Right, let's land here and let's go inside. Oh, hello. So this is obviously the mass storage room, which I think we're in the wrong side for. I think. And we can see what's coming in here. We can see that production's not been happening on the radio control units. They don't have the train to the base. And they've not decorated it as well. So keeping it very, very organized is a good way of kind of making it like a chore. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think there's a way. Oh, there's a door here. Oh, we're in darkness. 
What's this purple light over here? It's hard for me to see. I can see the door, though. Ah! Oh, okay. The sink. Get rid of your unwanted stuff. Throw it in there. Get sent to the resource sink. Probably into the storage first. You can see some of the Fixmas stuff. Oh, that's a good point, actually. When Fixmas arrives this year... I'm, well, I'm, by the looks of it, you now these lights aren't emitting actually any lights. And then we've got this building over here, which is just basically... And then we've got this building over here. We can see a bridge over in the background, which I'll show you in a minute. What is this building? How do I get in it? How do I get in this? Karami, where is the bloody door? For, for, oh, God. Oh, God. I think you need some lights, buddy. You need to get around to doing some lights in here. Saying that, I've got a lot of things I need to do lights for. Everything's just nice and clean. I'll leave that. <laughs> got another building over here. If I'm not mistaken, the last time he told me was this highway. Uh, it's a train highway. It goes all the way around the bloody map on the outskirts of the map. Is this going to be dark in here as well? Yeah, I don't know the last time they was on this save to do any form of factory stuff or lighting or anything like that. But let me know in the comments as well. Are you going to be using lighting or if you well, if you can use light uh, looming right now and if you're you are using it because it's about what I've seen at the minute. It's about 80 to 20 split for people to use it so the next bit we can see here is literally the highway which we can see that big massive like a frame right there and then this this whole dual um, highway goes all the way around the map all the way around the map but we can also see that this big a frame is connected with framed pillars to make it look like a chain which I find pretty cool. So it looks like a chain going all the way down there. All right, so I've come all the way to the desert uh, the desert base, and we've got this building right here. It takes me a while to fly over here because the in-game flying is pretty slow. It's pretty slow. Um, but let's head around here, and I guess we can just drop down here and have a look into this building. Oh, here we go. Look at this. And yes, this can be done in vanilla <laughs> and is walkable. So I can walk around this. Obviously, it's a bit jarring. And then you can enter the base. And then we have this. Well, actually, there's no lights in here, but but still. <laughs> Are there blenders over there? Is it just... Is this all just lit up via the green lights from the actual... Uh, or is it the green lights over here? Oh, stutters. Oh, there's lights over here. Okay, okay. But yeah, Karami, as you know, my dude, fantastic save. Uh, and I will jump over to the bloody next one. So the last but not least save is by Eita. E-I-T-A with 351 hours for the seven megabyte save. So without further ado, let's jump in here. And this is a big save. Whoa, whoa, that's a lot of bloody belts. That's a lot of bloody belts. Turn fly mode on. I say a lot, but like a long bus of belts, I should say. Because that is coming into this building. And this is obviously going to be their mega factory. And there's so many different belts coming down here. I want to go and see this. Because the last time I saw belts all lined up like this was with my... Oh, there's a Christmas plant over there. Was my uh, was my Titan build? So we can see all the iron, the uh, copper coming down here. Coal, no copper, uh, limestone, plastic being made. Let's head down here. Obviously, like I said, all of these saves was pre-update eight, and you added them all into Discord pre-update eight release. Um, so at least two to three weeks ago. So obviously, all these going to be dark. But have they added any form of lighting or anything in here? Oh, hello. That's a window. Hello, window. Did I dismantle you or not? I did now. And obviously, using the package fuel. Obviously, package fuel is a very, very good resource for power. Until you get to tier, obviously, milestone um, eight, and you can get the blending, you can do the blended fuel. But by then, to be honest, the difference between package uh, fuel uh, is very, very minuscule compared to blended fuel. The only thing that's going to happen is you're going to have a less of a footprint of a factory because you're not going to be using packages. You're not going to be using, well, double the amount of packages because you're going to be packaging and unpackaging, and you won't be using the refineries to make the fuel. You're just going to be using a blend blender that is it so they've got a bit they, like they are organized they definitely know what they're doing and they've definitely sunk some hours and possibly multiple game throughs of this well play playthroughs i should say fuel fuel unpackage water package they have the system where they can send everything even organize the cable to which power plant it's going to well which building it's going to and then underneath all the underflooring i can possibly turn my torch off to be honest because of the amount of belts that's in here because they're going to provide lights and i don't want to copy there we go but like welcome to the amazon workplace you know some this is what i love about underflooring is the more you put in there they don't have to look clean as long as for me there's no clipping of belts but when it's like organized chaos like this like 
It looks... Never mind. This factory's ruined. What did I just say? <laughs> what did I... <laughs> Please, one of these saves I ever check in the future. I, ju I just want to see a nice underflooring with no clipping. But again, I love how the belts are now giving off light and stuff. I feel like there's a really good touch with the looming and that. And obviously, the more belts you put down, the more light it gives in the area. Right, so the way from all the clipping and stuff, we can see they've done this kind of uh, with a foundation uh, double ramps and made this kind of like archway under structure support system um it's kind of cool it's kind of cool different spending some i like it when people go that spend that extra bit of time on something they don't need to but they do it just to uh, step back and go yeah i did that you know so let's see what's going on over here obviously this is the christmas stuff with a fixmas factory so if you've never done this this is something satisfactory do every christmas where you're able to build christmas trees and go through different milestones uh, and all that kind of stuff in the mam uh, to unlock uh, like different stuff with christmas and presents and all this kind of stuff so oh my god <laughs> the giant rockets i forgot about them last year oh boy well more clipping <laughs> Eater, Aita, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. What are you doing? What 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 are you doing? <laughs> anyway, I think we've gone through well, we've gone through four saves. It would have been five, but unfortunately that one save didn't load. Uh, so we spent a little bit more time looking at the others. So guys, thank you so much for submitting your saves. And if you want to submit yours, make sure you join the Discord in the in the description below. There'll be a link coming over there and drop it in uh, in the uh, saves area in the satisfactory role section. And uh yeah, so check out my other content right here. Keep smiling, and I'll see you in another bloody video.